morning students today we are going to solve worksheet part 1 of ratio and proportion student first you have to fill your name division roll number date now students let's move to our first question choose the correct alternative answer for the questions given below now the first question is if 6 is to 5 equal to y is to 20 then what will be the value of y option given is 15 b option 24 c 18 d is 22 is to 22.5 so students first let's solve it I have solved here. That is, 16 <coughs> upon 16 is to 5 means 16 upon 5 equal to y is to 20 means y upon 20. Let's do cross multiplication so it will become 6 into 20 equal to 5 into y. So now this 5 will come to this side. It will divide. So students, if you divide, you will get 5 ones are 5 and your 5 fours are 20. So you will get y is equal to 24 so i'll circle your b option that is 24 is the answer for this okay now student let's move to next question what is given what is the ratio of 1 mm to 1 cm option given is a is 1 is to 100 b is 10 is to 1 c is 1 is to 10 and the option is 100 is to 1 now students you know that 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so ratio will be 1 is to 10 because 1 mm to 10 cm so here the units are not same will convert the cm to mm so it will become 1 is to 10 so i'll circle the option c your right answer okay students now let's move to the next part what is given in third question the ages of jatin nitin and moisan are 16 24 and 36 respectively what is the ratio of nitin's age to moisan's age now nitin's age is 24 and moisan's age is 36 so we have to take ratio of this to so, uh, this one uh, students ages so it will become your 24 is to 36 so both will be divisible by 12 so i have divided 24 divided by 12 36 divided by 12 so what you get answer in the simplest form that is 2 is to 3 that is 2 upon 3 so your answer is b option that is 2 is to 3 will be the ratio of nitin's age to moisan's age i hope you have done this now students let's move to our next question use property a upon b equal to a into k upon b into k and fill in the blanks now what is given question 3 upon 7 equal to dash upon 28 equal to 27 upon dash equal to dash upon 3.5 now students you know that if you multiply 3 upon 7 means denominator 7 into 4 that is 7 into 4 you will get your 28 see your first your denominator is given 28 So you multiply it seven into four, you'll get twenty-eight. So same way, you have to multiply with four to the numerator. So three into four will become twelve. So your first, you'll get your twelve. Now we'll solve the second year. Twenty-seven numerator is given. Denominator you have to find. So you know three <coughs> nines are twenty-seven. So in numerator, when you multiply with nine, so denominator also you have to multiply with same. So seven nines are sixty. 3 so it will become 27 upon 63 now the last one numerator is not given and denominator is given 3.5 means that is 3 upon 7 equal to dash upon 3.5 so these are equivalent ratios so if you multiply 7 into 0.5 you will get 3.5 so numerator also will multiply student 3 into 0.5 you will get 1.5 so you will fill in the box that is 3 upon 7 equal to 12 upon 28 equal to 
27 upon 63 equal to 1.5 upon 3.5. Now, we'll move to our next question. Now, what is given students in the next question? Convert the following ratios into percentage. You know, for percentage, the denominator should be 100. So, what is given in our first question? 33 is to 50. So, here you can see student, it is 50. So, we will make the denominator. We can write this 33 is to 50 as 33 upon 50. Now, equal to, I want to make this denominator 100. We can get percentage. So, when you multiply 50 into 2, you will get 100. So, same way, numerator also will multiply with the same number. That is 33 into 2. So, 33 into 2, 66 upon 15 to 200. Now, the denominator we have converted into 100. So, now percentage equal to 66 percentage. Okay. Now, moving to the next question. What is given students? 9 upon 10. Now, very easy. You can write. You can make the denominator 10 into 100. That is 10 into 10. You will multiply. So, therefore, 9 upon 10 equal to 9 into 10. You will multiply the denominator and, numerator and denominator by the same number. That is 10. So, it will become 9 tens are 90 upon 10 into 10, 100. So, percentage is 90%. Okay. You got this. Now, students, let's move to our fourth question. Now, what is given in fourth question, student? Find the following ratios. Now, the first one is area of square to its perimeter. So, you have to compare, you have to find the ratio of, ratio of area of square to its perimeter. Now, you know students, area of square equal to side into side. And perimeter of square equal to 4 into side. Now, let's find out students ratio of area of square to its perimeter. So, area of ratio of area of square to its perimeter equal to. Now, first you will have to write area. So, side into side formula that is area for upon perimeter that is 4 into side. Now, student, you know here one side and this side get cancelled. So, it will cancel what remains side upon 4. So, the ratio will be side is to 4. Or you can use a symbol S also in place of side. Okay. Now moving to our B question. What is given? The ratio of diameter to the radius of the circle. You have to find the ratio of diameter to the radius of the circle. Now students you know that let the radius. We will take radius of a circle be R. We will denote radius by R. So, let the radius of a circle be R. So, diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So, diameter is equal to 2 into radius that is 2R. So, ratio of diameter to radius of a circle equal to so 2R upon R. That is diameter to radius we have to find a ratio. So, 2R upon R. So, students, RR will get cancelled. The radius and radius will get cancelled. So, what remains? 2 is to 1. So, 2 upon 1 you will get. So, the ratio is 2 is to 1. Now, student, moving to the fifth question. What is given? Compare the ratio 5 upon 4 and the another ratio that is we have to compare that is root 3 upon 2. We have to compare these ratios. Now, so for comparison, first we have to do cross multiplication. We will multiply 5 into root 2 and 4 into root 3. So, student, 5 into root 2. So, we cannot, you have done in third chapter this part. So, 5 into root 2 we cannot directly write. So, we will take this 5 into the root. So, 5 will become 25. This, if you take into under root sign, 5 will become 25. So, 25 into now root 2. So, 25 into root 2, uh, that is it will become 50. So, you will put that, you will put into the radical sign. So, 25 into 2, it will become 50. Now, it can be easily compared. Similarly, 
4 into root 3. So, I will put this 4 in under root sign. So, 4 will become 16 in under root into 3 will write. So, 16 into 3 you will get under root 48. Now, you know that student under root 50 and under root 48. Now, you can compare easily. So, you know under root 50 is greater than under root 48. That means 4 up 5 upon 4, the ratio 5 upon 4 is greater than ratio root 3 upon root 2. Now students, let's move to our next question. What is given? Find the reduced form of the ratio of the first quantity to second quantity. Now, what is given in first? Rupees 11 and second one quantity is given that is rupees 15 and 40 pesa. We have to find its reduced form. Now student, first rule you know that the unit should be same to find out ratio. Now the first quantity has rupees and the second quantity has rupees and pesa both. So it is easy to convert rupees into pesa. So let's make the unit same. So 11 rupees equal to 11 into 100. You know 1 rupee, uh, rupee equal to 100 pesa. So I will multiply by 100. So 11 into 100 equal to 1100 pesa. Now the second quantity consists to that is unit that is rupees 15 and 40 pesa. So let's convert the whole thing into pesa. So 15 into 100 you will multiply the rupees part. It will become 1500 pesa plus 40 pesa is given. So we will add it plus 40. So we will get 15 40 pesa. Now we will find out ratio of first quantity to second. So our first quantity is rupees 11. So it becomes ratio of 1100 pesa to 1540 pesa equal to. So you will write down upon that is 1100 upon 1540. Now student you can cancel 10 at the back. So we will cancel. Now what remains 110 upon 154. So 110 upon 154. You can divide it by 2. So when you divide it by 2, you will get 55 upon 77. Now further, these both terms can be divided by 11. So I have divided by 11. So 11 fives are 55. So you will get 5 over here. And 11 sevens are 77. So you will get 7. So the ratio you will get is 5 upon 7. So ratio of first quantity to second quantity equal to 5 is to 7. And do remember that students, ratio, you will not put any unit because ratio do not, uh, ratio doesn't have any unit. When you find ratio of numbers, it has no unit. So, you will write down 5 is to 7 just. Now students, let's move to second one B. 2.5 liter is first quantity and what is given in second quantity? 3500 milli liter. Now student here one is liter and the other is milli liter. So it is better to convert into same unit. So it is easy to convert liter to milli liter. One liter is equal to thousand milli liter. So you will convert 2.5 liter to milli liter. So first let's convert it. 2.5 liter equal to 2.5 into thousand equal to so three zero. So one decimal will shift this threes. The decimal point will shift towards the right hand side. So, three places. So, answer will be 2500 milliliter. Now, you can find both the units are now same. Milliliter first we made. First quantity we made with milliliter. And the second quantity is already given in milliliter. So, now we can find ratio of the first quantity to second. Now, ratio of 2500 milliliter to 3500 milliliter equal to. We will write out in this form. That is 2500 upon 3500. Now, students last two zeros you can cancel so you'll get ca you'll cancel first now it will become easy to divide now to make it in reduced form so 25 upon 35 you know both are both these numbers are divisible by 5 so divided by 5 so 5 fives are 25 so you'll get 5 and 5 sevens are 35 so you'll get 5 upon 7 now further this cannot be uh, reduced it is already in reduced form so your answer is Ratio of the first quantity to second equal to 5 is to 7. So, this is the answer. I hope you are getting it. Now, student, moving to the next question. What is given? The ratio of present age is 
of Albert and Salim is 5 is to 9. 5 years hence ratio of the ages will be 3 is to 5. Find their present ages. Now the ratio, the ages are given in ratio and it is in reduced form. So what is the present ages? Let's find out. Now, so students, you'll write down the ratio of present ages of Albert and Salim is 5 is to 9. When it is given to solve word problem, ratio and proportion when you solve word problems. So when it is in ratio, we have to take a variable x. So you'll write down, let the common multiple be x. So therefore present age of Albert and Salim are 5 years and 9 years respectively respectively see now it is given that alberts and salim's ages present ages ratios is given is 5 is to 9 so you have to take i said that you have to take in ratio variable while you are solving word problem so let the common multiple be x so you have taken so what will become alberts it's 5 x years and what will be salim's 9 x years now after 5 years it is given na so after 5 years their ages will increase obvious so, Albert's age equal to 5x plus 5 and Salim's age equal to 9x plus 5 years. It will increase. So, Albert's age will become 5x plus 5 and Salim's age will become 9x plus 5 years. Now, what was the given condition? From the given condition, we will write down that it was given that after 5 years, their ages will be in the ratio of 3 is to 5. So, after 5 years, Albert's age will be 5x plus 5 and Salim's age will be 9x plus 5 and ratio will become, we will get as 3 is to 5. So, we will compare it. So, 5x plus 5 upon 9x plus 5 equal to 3 upon 5. You will do cross multiply. So, you will multiply that is 5 into 5x plus 5 the whole bracket equal to 3 into 9x plus 5 the whole bracket. Now, you will multiply, you will remove the brackets. So, 5, 5 is a 5 into 5 x will become 25 x plus 5 into 5, 25 equal to 3 into 9 x will become 27 x plus 3 into 5, 15. Now, you will bring this one variables to one side and numbers to other side. So, it will become 27 x minus 25 x equal to 25 minus 15. So, you will solve 25 x minus 25, uh, 27 x minus 25x you will get 2x equal to 25 minus 15 you will get 10. So now you will find out the value for x. So x is equal to 10 upon 2. Now you can cut that is 2 1s are and 2 5s are 10. So students x value you got is 5. So you will substitute this x value in the present ages to find out the present age. So present ages of Albert is equal to 5x. So that is equal to 5 into x value you will put that is 5. So 5 5 is 25 years. And present age of Salim equal to what was 9x. So you will put 9 into 5 that is equal to 45 years. I hope students you got it. And please do complete this worksheet. Now students thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.